What time is it, my creatives? That's right, it's photo hacking time. And today we're gonna to be discussing how to install legacy brushes and how to get the secret brushes in Photoshop that a lot of you might not know about. Um, you're gonna get a ton of free brushes today and this is gonna be so much fun. So let's get started. So when you initially uh, load Photoshop, you should have some legacy brushes. Maybe they're gonna be here, maybe they're not gonna be here. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and load them for you, but first we're gonna delete all of these brushes. And to do that, you're simply gonna click and then press the shift button, select them all, right click and then delete. And it's that simple. Now you have a blank palette here. Okay. So at the very top, there is this cog, okay? You're gonna click on that. And then you're gonna click Legacy Brushes. Now it's going to have this folder and at first it looks like nothing, but you're gonna have to click down. And then in here, you're gonna have your default brushes. And you don't wanna open all of these folders because when you open up all of these folders, it's gonna slow your Photoshop down. So you have the basic brushes, you have assorted brushes, all kinds of brushes in here that you can use for free. So um, there's quite a bit and you can go in here and you can play with them all, you know? Of course, you don't wanna do that. You wanna create a new layer. You can choose any color you want. Um, I'm just gonna choose black and you can paint them out. However, you know, here's a, a oily medium brush here that you can use. So those are all the legacy brushes. But what about the f other free brushes that I talked about? Look at these natural brushes. So you get all these brushes free with Photoshop and it is so much fun. So what we're gonna do is remember, um, in, in the video here, um, I actually haven't uploaded it yet. So I wanted to make sure that I got all the brush videos up first, but there's a video how to install and update where I discuss this, how to install and update your Photoshop. And so um, in here, in the help section, uh, you're gonna go to Photoshop help and that's gonna take you out to the Creative Cloud website, okay? So on here, you're going to find um, a lot of different things here. It's a little bit overwhelming, but what we're looking for is the free brushes. Okay, so I guess they have moved where they put that. So um, there's two places here that you can click on. These are the preset tools, which are a different type of brush that you can load, but we're gonna get into that later. Um, this is what you want to click on. This is your brush menu. You can get here by going to Windows and then clicking on Brushes, and that's going to bring up your brush palette. So when you click here, it's going to say Get More Brushes, and that is going to take you out here. And Kyle Webster, actually, um, he used to sell his brushes on Creative Market, and then Adobe picked him up, and I, I had discuss the whole thing about the exposure of Creative Market and how um, and how Creative Market offers a lot of exposure. And so um, because he sold his brushes on Creative Market, they took notice and now all of his brushes, you can get them absolutely free on the Creative Cloud. So um, there's lots of different ones in here so you can download them. And these are the watercolor brushes, and then you can open them up in here, and then you have all of these cool watercolor brushes. Um, let's see, let me pick a color here. Let me pick a pink. Okay, that's an eraser, that's why it's not working. But, um, so these are all these cool free watercolor brushes that you get. Um, just for joining the Creative Cloud. And these are like spot watercolor brushes. Um, all the different kinds of brushes here. Of course, it's crazy what you get. 
So those are the watercolor you get. Dry medias, you can download those and then just open it up. And this is um, the dry medias here. So um, let me pick a different color, like a gray. Whoopsies. Okay, so let me accidentally clicked on too many things. I got click happy. That happens a lot. Okay, that's an eraser. So you know it's an eraser because it has a eraser thingy on here, so you probably won't be able to use that. So these are cool Reiki brushes. Um, just all different kinds of brushes here. Uh, see, that one is really, really nice and cool. So we get the, and then here's a mega pack. And you already have it, you can just install the updates. And then there's gouache or gouache. I always say gouache and it's actually pronounced gouache. I, I just don't like that word gouache. It sounds like squash and I hate eating squash. So, I mean, can we just all just like decide to like change the name to gouache? Cause it sounds more French. It sounds like really spiffy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so then you have art markers, concept, copiers, summer, these are the new summer brushes he has, winter brushes, and then another summer brushes in spring. And then so you have all of those different brushes that you can download. So that's really cool. And then you can also go into the community and download brushes as well. And how you do that is you go into business solutions and I don't know why it's in business solutions. That's a crappy place to put it, but here's the Adobe exchange and in the Adobe exchange, you can find more stuff. So let's click on creative cloud. And then you have all of this stuff here that you can download too. Now I would not stuff your Photoshop with a whole bunch of like random stuff because remember these are created by other people and some of these are not actually free. They appear to be free, but then it's like kind of like a trial thing and then they ask you to pay them money. And so when you're first starting out, I would not, I would definitely not recommend putting a lot of junk in your Photoshop because you just want to keep it light because you're just learning. You know what I mean? But there's all kinds of stuff in here that, you know, if you didn't know that you could add this, you can. So there's a lot of cool stuff in here. Um, I found a lot of cool stuff as well. See if I can find a tool. Let's see what we can find in here. Okay, I found one that would probably be very useful, the pattern suppressor. So say for instance, like you scanned in an image and they always have like these weird lines. Well, this tool can get rid of it. So that would be free and you could download that accept and continue. And then it would actually like load into your Photoshop automatically. And you could find that tool by going to Windows extensions and it should be in here. Let's see, I'm gonna go back and see what that. So I restarted the video and I mean, restarted Photoshop and restarted the video. And apparently it is a Photoshop action. Um, if you click here, um, it has a video tutorial. Um, it's actually quite, um, I don't know. It's pretty advanced. It's not, I guess it's not easy as a program where you just click on it, but it is useful. Um, I guess it would take a lot of work. It's more work and effort than actual need. So, I mean, anyways, I mean, you can always go to the Adobe Exchange and download these files whenever you, you know, feel like you need them. And then you also have the free brushes that I, you know, told you about that you can download and install. 
And then next, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get this really cool banana and set up your Photoshop tools in the next video. So um, today we've learned about Photoshop legacy brushes and we learned how to download all of the, uh, the brushes in Photoshop here that you have from uh, Kyle Webster. And then I also showed you how you can get even more brushes and different tools for Photoshop off of the Adobe Exchange. I'm also going to um, basically go over my favorite Photoshop tools that I use to, uh, you know, save time. And um, basically it, it, um, it makes your workflow faster, I guess, you know, to speed up your workflow and time is money. And, you know, you spend a lot of time in Photoshop and you want to do things as quickly as possible. So I hope you guys, uh, you know, found this tutorial helpful. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.